Welcome back. This is The Circle Live. We all know holiday travel can be fun and exciting, but we also know this can be somewhat of a hassle when it comes to packing and making sure everything is together for your trip. It can be a headache and no one really wants to deal with it. We're here to give us some hacks on making your trip home as smooth as possible. Please welcome travel expert Davey Sutton. <laughs> it's good to have you back I down know. to The Circle. <laughs> all right. I love when you come down and do this particular demo oh, because it's like, I know I need to get my stuff together. Right, all right. right. So we're talking about carry-on versus, you know, the suitcase you check. Right, well, kind of. We're yeah. just going to give you some, like, smart hacks as we go into the holiday right. season. Right, right. So are you going to, should we carry on or not? You know, my logo, checking bags is for suckers. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't think it holds in the case of winter because we have our chunky sweaters yes. and all of our winter gear. Yes. So the tip for that is to make sure that you can track it. So there are some like little devices that you can stick in your bag uh -huh. and track it. There's a tile device. Also download the app for the airline that you're traveling yes. on and you can track your bag that way. So that's the best way if you're going to check your bag. And oh. In the winter time, I give a little flexibility to that. End. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How can our trip not be a nightmare? Because everybody thinks about the destination, but we don't think about the preparation to get to the destination. It's about being prepared, it's about right? Being so prepared. have some fun little hacks okay. that, that will help you kind of be a pro okay. amongst the, your traveler group. Okay. So this is a DIY jewelry case. Oh. Use a hand cloth or, or a washcloth, uh -huh. and you can stick your earrings in, right? Oh. And so they'll hold. Fold it over. Mm -hmm. If you put your necklaces like this and continue to fold, Oh. They will not tangle when you pack them and you in your case. Put them right here. Right? Good yes. stuff. Yes. What about these rolly things? You still you still rolling is, stuff? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do. I roll or I use uh, I use a, um, a, one of those. Um, uh, com airbags. airbags. Yeah, yeah, the airbags. Okay. Yeah, the, the compression pack. Right. All right. Yes. All right. Advice for packing shoes. Okay. So no one wants. You know, this doesn't fit anybody's head and it comes in your hotel room, right? Right, right. So I always cover the bottom of my flip flops. I just actually carry my flip flops in a shower cap. Uh huh. Or you can put the bottoms of your shoes um, and, and use a oh, shower wow. cap for the bottoms of your shoes. Okay. Stick so it they, in your bag. Nice and good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use one from the grocery store, you know, like just a regular bag. But that's oh, right, good. Regular I like this. bags work too. Yes. As long as it just doesn't mess with the rest of the things in your, you're right. just protecting it. I right? love it. That's cute. And I, I never, that's so simple. Well, shower cap. I thought about it. Yeah. Okay, what about all the stuff that we have to bring for our hair and our makeup? Our toiletry. lotions and potions all of is what stuff. I say. Yes. All right, so there's all, you know, I'm always against using single-use plastics, and a lot of things are wrapped with those. Save mm -hmm. a scrap, and I like to use it as a seal, so then you won't have that explosion in your bag. Ah. So you compress it like that, and it screws all the way back on. Oh, my it's goodness. It's not the cutest thing in the world, but you won't have an explosion right. of your makeup, which often happens. And then you can throw that in the bag as wow. well. Wow, so just a regular little Little plastic, little plastic, create a seal. Okay, all right. So what about hats and other things like that, and wine bottles and yes. things like that? So your hats, right? Um, you don't want to crush them. I mean, you see people through the airport kind of holding their and hats, protecting right, their right. hat like uh -huh. a Fabergé egg, yeah. right? <laughs> so this is how you can uh, protect it. <gasps> stuff it with your underwear or socks or whatever. Yes. And then actually, we need to take this stuff out. Okay, sorry. So you put it in in the center of your suitcase, and then you stuff everything around it, ah. and, it and it holds its shape. So that's my hack for the hat for wine uh, bottles. Yes. You're gonna have to check it because of the size and the weight, Okay. right? So you're gonna have to check it, but how do you carry your wine back? You might wanna bring it as a gift, yes. or, you, or you might receive it and wanna take it back. Right. The secret is to steal some toilet paper. Okay. The part that's or gonna, borrow it from the hotel. Or steal it, because you're gonna take it home. <laughs> <laughs> the part that is most fragile on your wine bottle is the neck. And so that's what's going to crack typically. Okay. Pop on your your toilet paper, mm -hmm. stick it in the same way in the bot in the middle, and surround everything around. I promise you, it will not explode because the most fragile part, the part that usually explodes, is the neck. The neck. So toilet paper is your secret hack for that. Wow, you know, I put that's good, neck. Yes, I know, right? Right, I'll protect. You know, I like to protect my wine. I put so much so money. Now you're clear with the wine. Oh, you're, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Protect there you go. the wine. But protect that's the wine. But that's how you would do it. You right. would stuff everything around it and then you can take it, and you can actually check it. So, and you know, one last tip, you can ask the, the gate agent to put fragile on it, mm -hmm. but it's not necessary, and you know how they treat it when you check it, they'll just toss it. And right, stuff. right. Okay, so let's talk about how to, to fold this coat. Okay. We also see in the airports, people carrying their coat around, and then you're on the, air, on the airplane, high. and it's hot, and you don't know what to do with it. So this is a puffy coat, and, and it works with puffy coats, and any coat with the hood. Okay. So you fold the arms in, 
you fold it in half, mm -hmm. and then you compress it down. And you see where I'm going with this? Yes. You use the hood. What? Like as, a little sleeping bag. As a sleeping bag or a pocket. And what? Airplane pillow. Oh. Or you can, or you can stuff it in the overhead bin and not be that annoying person. Wow. Right? Right. right. That is good. I, let me try yeah, that. Exactly. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so, so in. In? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Oh. oh. Chill. Let's look. Okay, there we go, and, there we go, Shiny. And then in half. And then in half, and then boom, and then roll. It down, but compress it down as much as you can. Tight, tight, tight. Tight, tight, because then it gets tight, right? Right. So it, works uh, with, it works with ridiculously large clothes. It, the key is it has to have a hood. Wow, right? that is so Airplane good. Down. Wow. Well, thank you, Davey. I love when you come. Thank you. It's always a great time. Are you still that tip where you like try to have that one pair of shoe that kind of matches yeah, all your outfits? I mean, you can try to do that. Or two. You can, but if you're going to check your bag anyways, it's then all good. For you, for quad, for the squad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we need you, more. You need more. You right. can check it for the winter time. Well, thank you so much, Davey. <laughs> You're always a pleasure when you come down here and give us great tips to find out more hacks and keep up with everything travel by following Davey. Do so at Davey Dash Sutton, right? Davey Sutton. Davey Sutton. All right.